I've had this Samadre Cut 50 RX for three months now, and I've used it for all kinds of thicknesses. The thickest thing I've probably cut is three eighths of an inch. And the reason I'm making this video is because the output of this is not as impressive as I was hoping it would be, and that's even at 220. I've got this wired now for 220 30 amp, same as this Miller welder, and I'll swap the plugs and whatnot. I think it might be more useful on 110 volts. I'm about to test that right now. I scoured looking for information. Of course, they say max cut, half inch, severance. Um, is that usable? Probably not. Even 3 8 takes a while, about seven uh, inches per minute, I think. You guys do your own research on that time. What I'm interested in is real tangible results. So let's set up a piece of 3 8 inch steel and a timer and cut 220, and then we'll do the same thing on 110 volt, rewiring the plug. Stay tuned. First we'll do 220. All right, got everything set up. Got the uh, machine set as high as it'll go, 51 amps. Got a brand new consumable, both the electrode and this outer piece. Uh, nothing to it, but to do it. Let's do it. Right here. I'm gonna start five seconds. Minus five seconds, minute twenty, all the way across. And it is five. All right, let's switch to 110 volt. And see what happens. So I have a 110 volt plug on there now, and it's good to know too that it's on the same circuit as before. All right, the only thing I've changed is that plug. The machine is set to 90 PSI, max amperage. It's reading 50, 51. I've replaced the consumables, they're brand new again. And let's reset the timer. Go, start with five seconds. Um, there's a little bit of time difference because of practice, obviously. Uh, I don't see really enough difference to convince me to put that plug back on. See, if, since this fell on the floor, we can't tell, but see if you can tell what side was 110 volt and what was 220. So this answered my question. I am not going to be putting the 220 plug back on because that opens up a whole new versatility to the machine. I can carry it places, stick it out in the yard on a, a, a more convenient receptacle where I don't end up with metal shards all in the garage where I like my nice clean TIG environment. Okay, well, hope that answered your questions and thanks for watching. Stay tuned. I'm going to